What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Andy, the Destroyer, Ruiz. As you guys can see, Andy doing the planks, walking uh, plank, as they call it, and you can see the massive, massive weight loss for this guy in preparations of his showdown with Luis King Kong Ortiz. And let me counter punch. Um, I think Luis Ortiz has started something in his journey to lose weight, and it may cost him if he can't adjust, okay? It looks good, it looks better. Uh, I always look at uh, Andy Ruiz to be bad built. I think he's a lot smaller, and if he lost the weight, he would be considered a smaller heavyweight anyway. I think the thing that gave, gave him uh, the massiveness was his weight, because of the size he was, he was able to maintain his fluid levels, his energy levels. All of that was intact when he was fat because he was so accustomed to being obese to the point where that's what he's accustomed to. That's what it is. So at the end of the day, um, when he start losing that weight, a lot of changes happen. Okay. As you've seen in the Chris Areola fight, Chris hit him with a good shot. Yeah, no doubt. But that shot, along with the left hook I think he received in the third round, was just buckling him. And, he, and even he couldn't even understand, like, yo, why is this punch hurting me the way it is? Because he doesn't have the level of energy that he had because he's lost so much weight. Your body has to adjust to that type of weight loss, okay? You're gonna be you're gonna be weak, and depending on how he lost that weight, it's a healthy way to lose it, and then again, it's an unhealthy way to lose it, okay? And I don't know how and which one, but you're going to lose, especially when you lose it unhealthy, you're going to lose muscle as well as fat, okay? You have muscle, fat, and water retention, okay? A lot of times people cut to make weight, they're getting rid of their fluids. That's why it's a danger doing like the same day weigh-ins. That's why they changed the rules of that, okay? They did that so the person, you can get your nutrients back and your your uh, your, your your fluids back in your body, your liquids, you know, your body's like 75% water or liquid, okay? Whereas where it's supposed to be. Whereas if you do cut that, you're at risk of losing a lot of things. A lot of people uh, injured uh, with a stroke, ended up with a stroke, and other problems like that. But Andy Ruiz, um, I think if he's able to adjust to his own weight because he's lost more weight, and I don't think this is one of those uh, uh, catfish type deals, okay? I think Andy Ruiz, look, look at that, I don't think that's kind of hard to catfish because it's in motion. It's an actual video that's showing Andy Ruiz and his waist. Look at his waist. His waist is matching his bottom part, okay? That's what makes him look funny. If you're gonna be bad built, you at least have to be skinny doing it, okay? And he is no doubt a bad built brother, but he has lost the weight. And then the big question is, how will he perform while the weight is gone, okay? Because the more weight he loses, maybe the more adjusting he has to do to the weight that he lost. So if he gets in there with a heavy punching guy like Luis Ortiz and he gets caught, that's when we'll know he'll be able to take that punch from a bigger guy when now he's a smaller guy. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Andy Ruiz with a massive weight loss in preparation of taking on Luis Ortiz. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.